Now these temperatures make being outside for even a short amount of time pretty much unbearable. The night team's David Douglas out in our backyard patio for just a couple of minutes, we might add. He's got more on those trying to keep warm, David. Yeah, I got to say, Eric, unfortunately, unfortunately, actually, for me, not too unbearable. The door is just right there, but not everyone has that luxury. So as we head into tomorrow morning, you're going to want to dig out the really extra heavy gloves along underwear, things you might not have needed yet this winter. Make sure there's enough gas in your car as the mercury heads into the danger zone. Okay, Laura. Wednesday's advice will be Thursday's necessity, whether on the way to school or just about anywhere. Well, it's pretty cold, yeah. Audrey Turk gets kids across the street, and when the mercury is this low, those in the cold come first. On real cold days like this, I do stop the cars because they're in warm cars and the kids are out here freezing. Odd as it may seem, the chill doesn't stop Mike Woden from pedaling. I wouldn't say I'm excited, but I do ride in it. The cyclist loves the sport so much, he has gear for any weather. Yeah, I wouldn't ride without it. It would really be dumb to ride in this weather without it. But there's no joy in being outside when it's not a choice. So I like to spend my time in, in the library or walking through the Capitol or down to Memorial Union. Dennis DeNure is homeless right now, and right now he's one of the 160 people waiting for a warm place to sleep. And there are people that will sleep outside in this. Uh, the Portslight people are very... Uh, they're a blessing to a lot of us who have a good attitude on, on the emergency shelter at Grace Church. Porchlight says they always see more people at their door when it's this cold, and on nights like these, there is always room in the inn. We don't turn anybody away for, for space. We've never turned anybody away because we were out of space. We, we will find somewhere to put them. But back on this street corner, it might be a slower day Thursday, because if you can avoid the cold, you probably should. And sometimes I have 27 kids. And now, like tomorrow, it'll probably be a lot less. And I don't blame them for getting a ride. You know, I used to ride my bike outside in the winter, but that was in Virginia. Not a chance I'm doing it here, so that guy's extra tough, trust me. And here's a tip people often forget, we're told, by ER doctors. Make sure you stay hydrated throughout the day tomorrow, especially if you have to be outside. Drinking cold water doesn't really have a strong appeal. We get it, but your body needs the hydration to be able to keep you warm. So maybe just have it while you're inside and a coffee and tea when you're outside, Eric. Yeah, going to be some really cold stuff for folks to deal with. David, thank you very much.